Dave is in West Orange, New Jersey. Dave, you're on the Larry Elder Show. Larry, how are you, my friend? Dave, I'm good. Always nice to hear from you. Yes, I want you to know, first and foremost, that I do not have any coronavirus symptoms. Um, the only thing which you're hearing in my voice is just the old common cough mm -hmm. that I'm working on. But um, I'm feeling great. Dave, I think you also told us, if I'm not mistaken, that you're, that you're blind. Yes, I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blind since birth. Mm -hmm. And Dave, you got the wonderful attitude, uh, great disposition, not angry at the world. Uh, absolutely not, you know, because when, when I was a kid, and this story will warm your heart, my mom told me from an early age, she said, as long as you live in my house, there are two things you are not going to use as an excuse for failure. I don't want to hear that you can't do it because you're black or because you're blind, mm -hmm. because there are too many people in both camps who are doing something for themselves and making some great contributions to the world. Wow. Sounds like my parents. My dad used to say, if you want your dreams to come true, get off your knees and work hard and make them happen. <laughs> Absolutely. As long as you can, you can put your mind to it, you know. So this is why I'm so strong as you are against the victim mentality mm -hmm. among some of our people. Right. You know, but I, I wanted to share with you, uh, two nights ago I was listening to a, a local talk show here, very left wing, and they were talking about, the coronavirus and how it affects the black community. So they had a so-called community activist, and he, it was the usual demagoguery about, you know, how blacks are being disproportionately misrepresented. So, all right, I can live with that because, you know, that, that's, that's, an old, that's an old mantra. Right. But uh, so I was listening, and sure enough, my worst fears came true. And about 10 minutes into the conversation, he says, People are dying, and this is an actual quote, because of Donald Trump. I'm surprised it took 10 minutes, Dave. <laughs> 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 oh, Dave, thank you very much for the call. I really do appreciate it. You know, the usual claptrap, systemic racism, uh, structural racism, uh, and Beto O'Rourke's new, uh, new addition to this, foundational racism. Look, the reason black people are disproportionately affected by the coronavirus is because they're disproportionately poor, disproportionately living in high dense areas, disproportionately having a job where you can't work out of your home, disproportionately being involved in jobs that require you to interact in the, with the public, like in public transportation, disproportionately involved in the healthcare industry. Add all that up, and also underlying conditions like hypertension and obesity and diabetes, you've got a problem.